All right, now let's turn our attention to the left side of the image where we can see a clever monkey that has escaped. Now he's taunting the visitors and throwing shingles at everyone. Maybe this is why the zoo closed early and now the line of people are leaving the zoo. In any case, the monkey throwing shingles should help you remember that VZV can cause shingles. This is the reactivated form of the infection. So after the virus becomes latent in the trigeminal or dorsal root ganglia, it becomes reactivated during times of stress or immunosuppression, resulting in a dermatological condition known as shingles. Notice that the monkey has become quite aggressive and even threw a shingle at this poor woman. You can see that one of the shingles has made a clean cut right on her abdomen. This is here to help you remember that shingles presents as a painful rash within a dermatomal distribution. This makes sense, right? The virus was latent in the dorsal root ganglion or the trigeminal ganglion of a sensory nerve associated with a specific dermatomal distribution. Therefore, when the virus becomes reactivated, it causes symptoms along that nerve in a dermatomal distribution. This is an image of shingles. As you can see, this patient is presenting with an erythematous rash in a dermatomal distribution across the lower back. You can see it best right here. Now the monkey has gone too far. Look at this poor guy who just got hit in the eye with a shingle. Ouch. This poor guy is here to help you remember that VZV can cause herpes zoster ophthalmicus. This is a form of shingles that affects the face and eye when the latent virus within the trigeminal ganglia reactivates and involves the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve. So shingle hitting the eye for herpes zoster ophthalmicus. This is an image of a patient with herpes zoster ophthalmicus. As you can see, he has a rash on his forehead and eye, which corresponds to the distribution of the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve. This is a potentially sight-threatening condition, so should be treated urgently. Another common complication of shingles is post-herpetic neuralgia. To help you remember this, we've shown another poor guy who appears to have been hit in the foot and is in pain now. Unlike the other two people who are actively being hit with shingles, this guy was hit and is now in pain as you can see by him holding his foot and jumping up and down. In other words, it was a past event, and he is now experiencing the pain several seconds later. Just like post-herpetic neuralgia is characterized by neuropathic pain that persists after the onset of the rash. So, guy who was hit in the foot and now in pain for post-herpetic neuralgia. 